everybody, and welcome to episode 149 of the Let's Play World. Today is going to be a busy day. Next episode is 150 episodes of this series, which is pretty crazy when you think about it. And I want to get a bunch of little stuff done so we can focus on a big project for that next episode. So today we're going to do a bunch of housekeeping. I've got a couple of ideas of things I want to get done, and most of it is in the nether. A couple episodes ago, I was talking about expanding on some of our nether tunnels here. And one idea I had was to move our mesa portal so that we could keep our tunnel going out uh, in the same direction as our mangrove tunnel. And then we can kind of explore some undiscovered territory and, and uh, explore more of the world. So right down here... To our left, we've got our Mesa Tunnel. And what I'm thinking is just tearing it down and putting it on this wall. And that way, when we come down this tunnel, we'll have our uh, End Portal, we'll have our Desert Portal, and then we'll have our Mesa Portal, and then we'll have a tunnel that continues on in this direction and then links up with our Mangrove Outpost. There we go. Let's make sure everything links up properly. Perfect. Back out to our Mesa outpost. Haven't been out here in a long time. Oh yes. Very fun. Very cool. Okay, so now we've got our end our desert, our mesa, all on the right-hand side, and we can continue a tunnel in this direction and eventually turn left and link up with our mangrove outpost. I hear a lot of bubbling lava, and so I'm just curious... Is it just all lava out here, or what's going on? Sounds like those magma cubes are like right on top of me. Hmm. Very interesting. Well, we've definitely got more to explore, but we're going to move on to some other projects today. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the tunnel that goes out to our mangrove outpost. Did a little bit of work between episodes and where we finished off last episode, you can see I've continued the platform out in that direction pretty far. Sounds like there's a gas right there. Yep. Let me eat some food real quick and we'll make a, a mad dash for it. See if we can not get killed. Somehow we made that. So yeah, you can see I got out about this far. I need to get more soul soil and didn't do any of the walls, any of the ceilings, any of that. But I've got all the gray blocks on the floor. So, uh, yikes. So anyway, that's a great start. Still a ton to do, but this at least gives us a solid foundation to stand on and it's better than working off of netherrack. So the tunnel comes down in this direction and then right up here is where it turns left. And that goes out to the mangrove outpost. There we go. 
and I don't know if you remember before, there's just a ton of little like lava drips and things in the ceiling here. So this is going to be a little bit of work to clear all of this out. You just hear the lava bubbling over our heads. Other interesting thing, as I was digging around out here, this tunnel, if we go just a little bit further, you can see maybe 10, 12 blocks more, we've got this going on. This huge, terrifying Bastion Remnant, and I have not explored this one. There are still piglins everywhere, and potentially there could be some loot. Of course, there's going to be a bunch of brutes, potentially a magma spawner, so we're going to have to tackle this at some point. Out here, we go through the portal to our mangrove outpost. I want to build something out here. So, out here, this is really all we've got. A little bitty island made out of mud with a portal on it. And I'd like to build something a little bit more substantial. So if we want to come out here and gather some mangrove wood or dig up some mud, we'll have a place that is safe where we can do that. There we have our mangrove outpost. Built kind of a raised building out here in the middle of the water. And it has a little bit of a, a deck here so that mobs won't be able to just kind of walk up here. So if we boat our way up here, jump up on the, the deck, we can go inside. And inside you can see we've got a little bit of a, a mess going on here. It's pretty swampy out here. so. And we got our mud collection, stuff like that going on. We've got a bed, we've got a chest, we've got our portal, and then we have a staircase that goes up to this kind of a rooftop deck situation. You can see it's a little mossy, a little overgrown. This build uses five different types of wood. Got jungle, got acacia, got dark oak, got regular oak, and I've got mangrove. And they all sit pretty nice together, especially in this environment. Feels pretty appropriate, and I think it looks really, really cool. And then if we want, we can come out here, hop in the boat, and go gather up mud or chop down some mangrove trees and collect those for our builds. I'm going to pop back through into the nether. And we're going to head back towards our base. Next thing I want to work on is this section of our nether tunnel. We've got our tower base right down here. And a couple of episodes ago, we started work on this sort of blackstone themed section here with the purple and black carpet. And I would like to continue this idea down here past our mines and all the way down to the lodge.
looking pretty cool. We have never done a mirrored checkerboard in any of the nether tunnels and I decided might as well try it out and I think it looks really cool especially when you're moving through it. It's a really kind of trippy look. I uh, integrated a little bit of amethyst to kind of tie all that purple going on together and I think that looks really cool as well. We have this nice black stone motif that continues along where the mines are. I open that up a little bit and then down here where the lodge and the mangrove is, I open that up a little bit so we have some consistency there. There's one other little design element here. I was doing this and then what I realized is if I came around the corner here, the blocks were sticking out and it blocked part of my stairwell and I didn't really like that. So I left this open and I think it looks kind of cool. You know, as you're walking along, you just get this little peek into the stairwell and I think it still fits really nice and kind of ties everything together. Like I was saying with the mangrove swamp tunnel, I need to get more wool. I am desperately low on wool and so, um, yeah, a wool farm is definitely in order. As far as where the wool farm is going to go, I can kind of show you that. If we pop on through and we peek outside, so we've got our other farms here. The wool farm is going to go right there where I've got that pillar of netherrack. And that will surround our base entirely with farms. But we're going to save the wool farm for another episode. There's just one more thing I want to do before we wrap up today. So I think the last thing we're going to do today is we're going to go way up here and we're going to trim some armor. So we've got the dune armor trim, we've got the coast armor trim, and we've got the tide armor trim. I think we're going to use one of each. And I think we're going to use lapis as our trim material because I really like the look of netherite with a blue accent. I just think it looks really good. So the first piece we're going to do is going to be my chest piece. And on that one, I think we're going to do the coast armor trim with lapis. So we'll get that nice blue accent. Nice. Well, how do I look? Pretty good for the most part. I don't love the helmet trim. It's okay, but I think we could probably find a better one. I do like the chest piece. I think that looks pretty cool. And I kind of like the mix of the leggings and the boots, how they kind of create uh, an interesting pattern mixing the tide and the coast. So that's kind of fun. You know, it's too bad you can't trim elytra. That's kind of a bummer, you know? Well, we got a lot done in this episode. We moved our mesa portal. We did a bunch of work in the nether right outside of our tower portal. We built a mangrove outpost. And we finally trimmed some armor. Next episode is number 150. And I have a pretty big, pretty ridiculous project that we're going to tackle. I'm super excited and it is just absolutely absurd. So hopefully you'll all join me for that. And that's where I'm going to wrap this one up. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you had fun. Please like and subscribe if you want to follow along on the adventure. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.